<clears throat> okay, today I wanted to talk to you about autism and eye contact. Um, I volunteer at a local school on Fridays, and one of the tenants that they have written up on, uh, I guess it's a dry erase board, is um, about being a good citizen. And to do that, there's literally only like, there's less than 10 things on the board, but one of these things is make good eye contact and be present with people when listening. This <clears throat> close to enrages me um, because it's being globalized for every child, kindergarten through eighth grade. This is a charter school. In my community anyways, charter schools tend to attract a lot of neurodivergent um, children due to it being a, a you know a, a little bit of a more flexible environment oftentimes um, staffed differently more open-minded again this is this is just in my community it could be different in your community um, but yeah so this idea of being a good citizen being about being able to be present and make eye contact that's fine if you have a child with a typical brain typical drain their visual cortex is looking at another child or another person. And that sensory information, the balloons, zoom, love it. Um, the sensory information that they're seeing gets relayed to the amygdala. And then the child has an appropriate verbal response. Um, so their nervous system doesn't engage, their heart rate doesn't speed up. Um, they don't have an anxiety cascade. There's something, this is fairly old um, in autism theory um, from the 80s. So uh, the idea that, as we know, autistic brains work differently. They can, we've seen this on functional MRI, it shows up on neurofeedback studies. Um, with a child on the autism spectrum, and this may be true of other neuroatypicalities like ADHD as well, but it's definitely true of children with autism. There's an altered connection between the visual cortex, what the child's seeing, and the amygdala, which is the fear center in the brain. So when the child on the spectrum makes eye contact, this isn't 100% of the time, but definitely if they're in dysregulated or an overwhelmed state, um, say like in a noisy gym or cafeteria at school, the connection between the cort cerebral visual cortex and the amygdala distorts the child's response. And that eye contact triggers the nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system, which is the one that upregulates you, that gets you ready to run from the bear. Um, this leads to the heart rate increasing, um, stress ca uh, cascade, uh, increased release in cortisol, which is the, the body's stress hormone, one of them. And the child has a sense of distress, which oftentimes will make them look away. If we're teaching our kids the only way they can be good citizens is by maintaining eye contact, we're teaching our children that anyone with a brain that cannot maintain eye contact is wrong and bad and not a good citizen. And this makes me angry. So for those of you out there who are working with kids on the spectrum, please, 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 and adults, please don't ever make them maintain or sustain eye contact with you. You are physically doing them a disservice. You're increasing their blood pressure. You're increasing their anxiety and you're decreasing what you want, which is the effect of them paying attention to you. They can't pay attention to you when their brain is flooded with cortisol. So no on the eye contact. If the child initiates eye contact, that's wonderful. They feel safe and secure with you. You're doing a great job. If you're making them maintain eye contact, you are essentially putting that child, you're, you're, it's the equivalent of hitting them. Please stop doing this. And I'm sorry to be so firm about this, but it's unacceptable that in 2023, when the incidence of autism is like over one in 60, if you've got 600 kids in a school and you're globalizing that every kid needs to make eye contact, there's too many kids there that are being told they're bad when they're just behaving the way their brain allows them to behave. All right, that's all for today. Thank you.